Hey everybody, Eric here, coming to you from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Just wanted to come outside at night here in Quartzsite, Arizona to once again show you how peaceful it is out here. I've moved camps, now actually a dead-end camp over here at Randy's little compound, compound out here. And uh, just kind of regrouping for one day. Been playing some poker with Mike of Living Free and Stanley and Gray. And we've, we've been having a lot of fun today and tonight hanging out here. But I am going to be leaving and going much, much farther south in the morning. But just want to show you what it's like. It's really beautiful out here. Let's peek at the stars and then we'll uh, head out in the morning. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. Let's look at those stars. Just uh, filled up propane and gas here in Quartzsite. We got Steve, full tiny house, and Dana's behind in the car. And we got other people too, but we're gonna be uh, heading south today. I've got the RV a little bit in a mess. Don't know if you can see. It's just kind of everywhere. I shoved everything to make it work for now is basically what I'm doing. I'll, I'll organize it when we get there. I'm just happy for the sunshine. Driving south, we're going to be pretty much looking at the sun the entire time. So it's not going to be a great view. I'm not going to film a whole lot of this trip. But I'll let you know when we get there. And when we get there, we get to see a bunch of old friends and probably meet some new friends. I can't wait to show you uh, once we get into the Yuma area here. Places that I've never been before. This is all new territory. I mean, I've been through Yuma before, but I've never camped in Yuma or done any of the free camping or anything like that so this will be fun you can go ahead all right now the scenery might not look that different to y'all right now but i assure you we are uh, 80 miles farther south in arizona uh i think this is the territory we're gonna have a little chat here actually we yeah i think we're gonna pull over here and come up with a strategy of where we're gonna go because imperial dam campgrounds down here but just got a phone call and i need to i need to clarify a few things here real quick so we're, we're gonna have a little group chat here and then uh, it's warmer here at least it's uh at least eight ten degrees warmer here in yuma than compared to quartzite so all right, well, we had a little group meeting here. We're going to head over to Imperial Dam at least and go from there. Got a call from Terry and Scott. Yeah, they're back on the road in a, in a new camper that we'll probably see later. And uh, Aja is down there and a few other people. But uh, looks like there's some people that may have gotten sick but may have left. And so... Um, I mean, I don't know. I've already gotten the big thing and I've, I I've, don't know if I've mentioned on this channel, but I am fully vaccinated and I've got my booster. Um, that doesn't mean that I just want to go hang out with anybody and everybody, especially when there's already a couple confirmed cases, you know, um, but I just, I don't know. So let me just get parked and think about a few things. I'm okay spending New Year's Eve alone or with the people that I've already been with who are vaccinated and that I trust, but let's let's wait and see. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that uh, Black Hawk copter right there here at the Yuma Proving Grounds. That's pretty cool. Hey, sunshine. Sunshine in the winter, 70 degrees. Still a little windy down here too, but... But I mean, yeah, it is what it is. It's not snowing. It's not raining. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to turn down uh, Senator Wash Road here. And somewhere in the middle of this road, probably, probably right where the bridge is up here, this bridge 
is the uh, divider here. We, we're, we're, we're leaving Arizona right now. Welcome to California, my phone says. So, yeah, we are just inside California, but, however, we're still basically in Yuma. We're, like, what, 10 minutes away from Yuma, and Yuma has everything. It's way different than Quartzsite. There's people camping up on the hill there. Yuma has, like, two or three Walmarts. They got a PetSmart. They got a, they got a movie theater. Much, much different BLM camping than Quartzsite. Much, much different. And, uh... Steve was just telling me about Mitri Lake is also nearby, which I have not camped at. So, yeah, it's all new to me. Looks good. Got some people camping on the bluff off to our right there. A lot of, a lot of hills, a lot of washes. Just got to be careful, you know. All right, we are turning into here. Uh, Steve says this should be one of the long-term visitor areas. So they're going to look for the pass that's on the side of Miranda and the pass that's on the car, South Mesa Recreation Site Imperial Dam, long-term visitor area. And, oh, this is cool. I do need to dump my tanks and get water. This is really cool. Look at these, these huge lanes and dumpsters over there. Wow. Very cool. All right, let's undo the leveling jacks. I just dumped the tanks and I noticed it wasn't very even, so I, I pop up the passenger side so you can really make sure you're starting with some clean, empty gray and black tanks. Okay, good to go. It looks like Steve's waiting for me over there in his Class C. There's the water down there. And we are gonna find out where we're gonna go here. I guess they're not quite ready, so I'm going to pull around. Whoa, there's RVs down there. Look at all those RVs down by the water. Whoa. Hey, wait, I want to be down there. I really, really want to go down there now. Mmm. here on the bluff but we don't know if we're, like we could all four fit up here on the bluff and have a view of the water but we got a tip that there might be a place to camp on the lake so Dana's gonna go drive down there uh, scope it out check for clearance and also make sure that there's service down there because we get awesome service up here with a clear shot of the uh, tower there so just gonna hang back here and see what they find. I mean, I'm, I'm open to whatever. I just, I'd rather be next to the water because honestly, <laughs> even in January, yes, I will inflate one of my tubes and I will be in that water cooling off in January, yeah. Well, we're going to have a couple other people join us here in the group right now, but let me get turned around in tater tot here real quick and show you what is up. So I turned my RV around the other way. This is the way I should be doing it because the solar panels are on this side and because I have a curved roof, curved roof, the panels that are on this side are a little bit angled towards this side. And that's where south is right there. So. I should be getting some better solar here parked right here. Hey, Opie. 
Um, there is this little road, uh, but our neighbors at the end of the street told us that uh, you don't want to take too much down here because it's uh, pretty rough and I can see there's some holes. Oh, yeah, and there's some bumps, but I, I want to take Tater Todd down here to see what it's like. On the other side of this monster hill, it goes down even more, and there's that $75 uh, fee thing where Aja and Terry and Scott and Dave from Dave's RV Life are at. Um, but there's no room. <laughs> at least there's no room for Miranda. There's room for like some camper vans right now, but I don't know. We'll, we'll go see them soon. Maybe not in this video. Right now, I just want to see what's down here. This this road is pretty rough. Oopsie. If you could get down here, yeah, I think this would be a great uh, camper van spot. Just, oh wait, look over here. Look at this. Look at this, a little path to the water down there. That's neat. And then you could just camp right here. I don't know about going in the water, but look at this, look at this little site right here. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, that is that is a walkway, right? Yeah, that you could you could walk to the water, which all I see is mud and crud down there. Ugh. The rest of it looks good out there, though. Yeah, but the tribe's over there on the other side of that island over there, you know, so. All right, so the sun's just getting ready to uh, set behind me. So we didn't get to go meet the tribe today, but We'll do that in our next video. I wanna, wanna peek around, lift up some rocks, so you can find any scorpions, maybe. No. No. Oh yeah, definitely. Are you ready? admit California seems awfully beautiful and I feel like I should regret saying that as long as you don't go too far into California but by the way I I usually don't get a whole lot done here when I sit at this seat so well this is my TV seat and ever since I brought Opie home as a kitten he must lay on me in my neck um, we watch TV here well, that's basically all we do. We watch YouTube or TV here, and I'm not, you know, picking favorites. It's not like I love Opie more than I love Tara. It's just Opie seems to have this really outgoing personality. He loves strangers. He loves other pets, and he will never leave my side, and he sleeps on my neck at night. I've never gotten a picture of that. Tara, she's a little different. She's a little more independent female cat, and that's okay. I love her to death. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not hating on her because she's not in my lap all the time like Opie is. Opie is getting big, though. He's no longer a kitten. But he's my sweet little guy. And I love Zims. I love him so much. So glad he's in my life. That Tara, here, let me show Tara. Can I, I'm just going to. No, she's, she's down here, though. Mm -hmm. Look how absolutely stinking cute Tara is. Just loving her RV house. Yeah, she's such a good girl. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Girlfriend. What's up, girlfriend? I was just snuggling with Opie. He's just a different cat than you, and that's okay. You snuggle with me at night. No, I know. All right. 
why did I even bring up the cat thing? Oh, because every time I grab a camera and I want to film something in this seat, Opie's always on me and Tara never is. Again, it's... It's not me. It's the kitties. They get to choose the life and how much of me they want me in their life. Cats are independent, you know? I'm just really happy that Opie is, you know, so in my face, in my bubble all the time. And we're going to be working on getting him acquainted with on, on the outdoors more also. So... I'm in California, didn't quite get to camp where I wanted to camp. However, I'm with awesome people, and I'm really happy at this spot right now. And I actually would probably be okay right now at this point spending New Year's Eve right here. And if I wanted to, I could take the car right around the corner and go see the tribe down there in the car. But i um, really happy, and I'm really warm, and there's sunshine, and it's beautiful, and <laughs> can I complain? No. Happy New Year, guys. Uh, Tara and Opie and I will see you in the next video here shortly. Bye, guys.